was definitely a different feel. You know, more intense practices, more intense games. In the beginning of the season, I knew we had a special team. Just our hustle just stood out. We overcome obstacles. We have greater motivation than ever before. We all knew this is our year. We did all this, all this work. And like it seems like all the stars are aligning. And yet it could all just be crushed if you don't play well. A little nervous, a lot of anticipation. I try and sound everything out and just pretend like I'm playing volleyball like any other day. I mean, it's tough to do when you have a thousand fans yelling and stuff. They had already rattled off like four or five points, and I was like, we gotta go now. Coming into this year, we had high hopes. We were, you know, aiming to be state champions, and I don't think anyone doubted it from the jump. We just remember the bigger picture. Playing for Coach Pete, and we had to just finish what we started. The crowd was going crazy. We knew what we had to do. It was our moment, and we had to take care of business. I mean, it was just an instant rush. The fans were going crazy, and it was just a really special moment. We fulfilled what we were trying to do. That, that, was, that was a great moment. I've been telling the boys for a long time that we are champions. The journey has been challenging. My, <clears throat> my ALS has continued to affect me, but this has given me something outside of myself to be able to invest in these boys' lives, to challenge them, not just about being the best volleyball player, but to grow up and to have, have a strong foundation in their lives of faith. If you don't have that faith, you don't have hope. I have an eternal hope.